Hey guys, welcome back to Frambo. In the previous episode, we got into the heart of Queen... What was her name again? Mabuka? And yeah, yeah, this is Mabuka. We're on our way to the All-Seeing Eye to get to know what this patient has so we can switch our waiting numbers and get in first because he has number two and we have number seven, which we're gonna have to wait quite a long time. Excuse me, I need your help. Oh, of course, you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room, waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him, but from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget that tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm in a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But now everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. My book has said that I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my Kitty, Mr. Midnight's. Hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to it next time be happy. Aw, perfect. We needed the tears. Hmm, lovely pain. So profound. Well, okay then. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Well, friend, that was perfect. <laughs> Let's go to that patient. This creature has number two. So, let's give him the tears. Here, drink this, you'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me, haha, <laughs> how lovely, let's see. <laughs> it tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more, give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright, there you go. Thank you. And thank you, your tears taste absolutely delicious. Oh my god, that heart is bleeding. Or is that, isn't that heart? Oh, yes, number two. Perfect, perfect timing, nurse. Here. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? No. Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. You gotta be kidding me. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty. I just want to find him. Alas, kitty, don't worry, that's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky though, many lose their minds instead. Huh? Lucky? But how do I get an appointment then? Uh, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. Are you insane, cause? <laughs> but why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Ah, uh, alright, I'll go and make the call then. Well, I know where there's a phone. Let's go use the phone. It's in 105 if I remember correctly. Yes. Besides looking like Mr. Itward's um, suit. Okay, use. Trying out things is good. Okay, I have to remember it. Oh, I took a goddamn picture with my phone. But she's holding it. <laughs> okay. Zero, one, two, two, one, two, one, seven. Two, seven, six. Okay, let's make an appointment. Oh, hello. Yes, you told me to call to make an appointment. Hmm, it's Rambo. Uh huh. I'm available now. No, no, uh, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye bye. Yes, bye. <laughs> yes, that's how I make my appointments. <laughs> yes, I do have a pair of eyes. <laughs> if only. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm here, lady. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Frambo is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check their archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. Finally. <laughs> what the? I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Phew, yes, yes. What a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess... Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Well, okay. Bye. 
Ah, oh, friend. Oh. You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are Remmer, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remmer, the terrible black, prince of the darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do to Do Dr. Deer? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to tr trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you you that night, outside my window. It must be you who did this. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that humans... That human repertoires are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. What the hell is happening again? Stop! No, it can't be! Stop it! No, this is not true. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. It wasn't me. He's just giving me... Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. What the fuck? This is gonna give me nightmares. Come on, friend, wake up. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. That monster wants to trick me, I know. Everybody is crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. Come on, friend, wake up. You can do this. We have, we have been going through a lot, so we can through this. A tank with water, good. If Kamala comes around, I'll know what to do. Or if I'm thirsty. Good, let's go to the doctor. Dr. Dearn! And Kitty. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. Meow. Oh no, we can't talk anymore. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Purr. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to Etesta, my darling. Palantras can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. Oh, Kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dean, alright? He seems to be in trouble. What the hell have we been doing? Electricity on his head. No. A syringe. It has red fluids inside. What can it be? We're just gonna take it. I don't need this. The old man again, Dr. Oswald. Oh my god. I have a feeling he's behind all this in a way. Dr. Dean, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up, please. Dr. Dean, wake up. Are you alright? Are you alive? Oh, what should I do to wake him up? Um, This? What does this lever do? Can we read this? No. Ah, these buttons don't do anything. Okay, maybe we have to use a syringe on him. Huh, maybe this will wake him up. Why do you look so evil? Ah, damn, what was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dearn, it's me, Fran. Ah, what? I can't see very well. Fran Boser from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. You must go. Come on, Fran. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't the monster at all. Just let me help you. Can you please start believing me? But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Ah, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely, you sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrington. I know everything about you, friend. Oh my god. Oswald from As Oswald Asylum? Yes, friend, the same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? 
Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Hmm, did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course, Remmer did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife after all. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remmer all the time, but why does he hunt me? Remmer is a manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would he... The monster killed my parents, because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor, you're suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, friend. Oswald, please, let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me, we're family. Let us go, my kitty and I can't find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, friend. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. No, don't go with her, friend. No! She's taking Mr. Midnight. Oh my god, what the hell is happening in this game? I can't follow anymore. Go with your aunt, friend. Isn't that what you want? You son of a bitch. I still have a knife, you know. I can use it on you. I used it before, apparently. I can't be done. Damn. No! Friend, my dear, listen to me. You must know, Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. Well, good for fucking her. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for what that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course, but there's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. Please don't, please. No! No! Kitty! Come on, friend, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. Fucking bitch. Strangler. Stop it, friend. Help. Help. Please help. Well, he's in a fucking wheelchair, Dr. Oswald. He can't help you. Oh, th but this is just what they want. This is what he wants. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Friend, look out. Oh my goodness, she to she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Dr. Dearn? Friend, are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about friend, Dr. Dean. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. No, Edward, save us. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, friend, everything will be fine. Who, who are you? I'm Edward, the one many children talk about. He protects children, Ah, But, but you're not human. Ectobro, ectopote, palantras mon... Mona Kaist. Yes, palantras. Gorka, Edward, I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone. Fuck you, Dr. Dearn. Yes, Mr. Midnight. <laughs> I've never been so happy. Little friend must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Ah, oh, please. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of the child. Friend is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, friend, and you'll be able to walk towards light. Come on. 
Where were you, Edward? Damn! Aww. Oh my god, I'm so happy I have so many good friends. Aww. Oh. I'm back alive, yes! Ah, what happened? Edward Palontras, my heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, Makiti. I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go, all right. Dr. Dearn, look, this is Edward and Palontras. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Can you believe me now? You have to. He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. Oh my god. That sucks because he wasn't that bad of a man. We could have still saved him. We really must leave now. Well. But can he come with us please? He has been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us. I'm sorry. But what we can do is, is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He will wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, friend. I see. Well, that's okay. I guess. As long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. You really think so? Ah, thank you, Palantras. Let's go. Let's go to Itesta. Now, let's send Dr. Dearn home. Yes. Marcel Dearn. Aonum Vekma Sodunsla Ecto. I'm just making up the words a little because... <laughs> Goodbye, Dr. Dearn. Let's go now, friend. There's so much you must see and learn. Hee <laughs> hee, that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. Friend, you can be so positive in the most negative moments. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear... I chose happiness. But did Fran really? Oh! <laughs> but did Fran really kill her parents? Is that why she felt guilty? I'm just gonna wait. Oh! That was it? Ah, come on! I think it's like you have to interpret it. You have to take it. You have to interpret it on your own, in a way, I guess. Well, that was a fun game. It really was. Kudos to the people that thought of this and all the puzzle and, and puzzles and everything, because... Yes, I loved it. They're bringing out uh, another game, by the way, with kitties. I can't remember the name at the moment, but I'm following them on Twitter, so if it's out, I'm probably gonna play that too. Yeah, that was cool. Well, guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed Frambo like I did. Um, yeah, like I said, the next game that uh, these guys will make, uh, Kill Monday, yeah, that's what their name was, I'm gonna play because it's with a kitty as a main protagonist instead of a Frambo, I guess. <laughs> Comment, like, and hit that subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode of Frambo. And I'm gonna leave you here with the end screen. Okay guys, bye!